Welcome to another episode of Tea Talk. Back on our show today is Cesar Williams, our registered acupuncturist here at Retrie Wellness. Welcome back. Thank you. I uh, hear you're going to talk about uh, self-care for constipation. Is that, that right? That's right. Yes. Yeah. So not many people really like to talk about constipation, mm -hmm. but a lot of people have it. So according to some sources, about one in four Canadians actually has symptoms of chronic constipation. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm sure a lot of people watching today have either experienced chronic or occasional constipation at some point in their life and they can tell you that it doesn't just feel bad in your belly, mm -hmm. it actually makes you feel tired and irritable. It can also affect your breathing mm -hmm. and it can interfere with all of your activities of daily living. So no pun intended, but it's a real bummer. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is constipation and why does it happen? Constipation isn't just not being able to have a bowel movement at all. Mm -hmm. It's a common misconception. Oh, okay. So it can be a reduction in the frequency of bowel movements, or some people have regular bowel movements, but they really have difficulty passing stool each time they have a bowel movement. So there's a lot of different causes of constipation. In Chinese medicine, we look at the function of the organs in the digestive tract, as well as lifestyle. So examples of some functional problems would be slow or weak peristalsis mm -hmm. of your large intestine. So basically the stool isn't squeezed out fast enough mm -hmm. out of your large intestine. Um, sometimes your digestion isn't working well. Mm -hmm. So that means food is kind of sitting in your stomach. Mm -hmm. And uh, your intestines might not be absorbing enough water. So that means you might end up with compact dry stool that's kind of just hard to pass. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's interesting to know the differences. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the reasons for constipation? Mm -hmm. So there's many other reasons. Mm -hmm. It can be caused by chronic diseases like diabetes or IBS. Mm -hmm. And even uh, Parkinson's and other neurological conditions. Mm -hmm. But the big ones are lifestyle or external factors of like course. diet, lack of exercise, mm -hmm. stress, medication, all of those things. So we look at all of those in Chinese medicine and they're typically the first things that we would address if somebody mm -hmm. came in asking us for help with constipation. So we'd work with them to make dietary changes that are very specific to their constitution and their condition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we'd also determine if uh, acupuncture is enough to help with the constipation, or maybe if they need some Chinese herbal medicine too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so uh, besides having acupuncture or uh, taking Chinese herbal medicine, what can someone do to relieve uh, constipation? That's a great question. So there's some really easy and simple self-care practices that can help ease constipation, including some self-massage and mm -hmm. acupressure as well. Oh, okay, are you going to show it to us? I sure am. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Our wonderful colleague Rick is going to show us some abdominal massage and acupressure techniques that you can do to help promote bowel movements. So the first technique is literally rubbing your belly. So you place your right hand on your lower abdomen and you uh, circle basically around your belly button and across your belly button about 50 times. Mm. Sounds like a lot, but you need to get a few reps in there to really stimulate the bowels. Makes sense. Yeah. So it's important that you go clockwise because that mirrors the direction that stool actually travels through your intestines. Yes. Yeah. So the next step would be to uh, press a little bit harder and go a little bit slower, basically. So you're still going to absorb a, a massage your lower abdomen, but Rick, you're going to start very low on your right hand side of your belly, exactly, kind of above your, your um, hip bone, and then you're going to follow the path of your large intestines up, and then across your belly button, and down on the left hand side to the other hip bone, and then right towards the center. Very good. And you can use your fingers like Rick is doing here right now. You can use your knuckles, you can use the palm of your hand and kind of wave it along. And the, the goal is to press pretty firmly to mm -hmm. follow the path of the large intestine because it's shaped like a horseshoe. So you have to go up on the right, across, down on the left, just like Rick is doing here. Um, and uh, you might feel a couple places that feel a little bit stuffy mm -hmm. and that's probably where the stool is actually stuck. So you can mm -hmm. spend a little time just kind of kneading that area a little bit too. So the third option is to squeeze and knead your arm. And it sounds a little bit strange, I know, but there's a good reason for it. So Rick, you're going to do some acupressure on the large intestine acupuncture channel, focusing on the part of the channel that's just below your elbow. There's a pretty big muscle there. And if you press along it or rub your finger, you might feel some bumps or it might feel a little bit sore and tender. And that part of the channel is like a little image of your large intestine. So if you need 
or you press or you rub there, it can help to stimulate the bowels. Thank you so much for showing that to us. Uh, any final words? Sure. So constipation is a very common problem with many different causes. Mm -hmm. It's really best to see your practitioner so that they can properly diagnose you and figure out what the problem is and then address it, either through acupuncture, herbs, but maybe even things like diet counseling, mm -hmm. lifestyle changes. But in the meantime, if you have any kind of chronic or occasional constipation, give the abdominal massage a try, give the acupressure a try, and see if it helps move those bowels. Okay, great. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, so if you need any further support to treat constipation, please book with Suzanne Williams. Uh, let us know what other topics you would like to talk about and please share this video or comment below. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.